Hey. We wanted to give you just a very quick intro to this week's video to kind of set this up for you. Now we were at the Tampa Super Show. Yes, it was a lot of fun. And we absolutely loved every minute of it. And we have a lot more tours that are gonna be coming your way. But before we do any more of those. We've got a little bit different video for you today. We wanted to kind of give you behind the scenes of the Tampa Super Show. So here you go. She totally said yes, that they would meet us there in an hour. <laughs> in an hour? In an hour. What's unique about this I'm place? I'm getting a burrito. Yeah, and what's Cotton Kenny? Do we want to tell them or do we want to show them later? Show them later. Okay. Well, I'm going to sign the guest book. You want to sign the guest book? Yes. Check it out. <gasps> what is this on the mirror, though? Well, it doesn't have separate beds, so I guess you lucked out on that one. The floor plan thing. saying there's a place for everything and everything's in its place. There is a place for everything. I'm just still trying to find it. <laughs> so this is going to be exciting because this is like our first load up the, the things after the renovation. So I am working on putting all of the food away for our uh, stay over at the Tampa Super Show and uh, just have in my head kind of meals of what we're gonna need for just meals and stuff like that. So the goal is to get all of this to fit in these. And I have some space down here too, so I'm confident I can make this happen. This could not have worked out more perfectly with these bins from Ikea. So I've got all of like breakfast, it's like cereal and granola in this one. And then this is just like chips and snacks and stuff here in this one. But they fit like perfectly side by side. And then I've just got these two wire racks that um, I think these are from Lowe's, but these fit in here, not exact, but enough to where this totally gives me a lot of space. And I still have a lot of space here and I'm almost done loading up the food. So mission accomplished that everything's pretty much in and I still have extra room, which actually I do need to pick up a few things at the grocery store. But we still have a lot of space still. I haven't even filled up that space yet. I mean, still tons of space for food storage, even with the storage that we took out, so pretty happy about that. It, so I see the cat has Yeah, found my a bunk spot. has changed changed a lot. So she was really, really scared. But I put her I put this pillow down for her. This is the pillow she sits on pretty much every travel day. And it's the pillow I sleep on. Okay. She sits on it pretty much every travel day. Nice. So I put her on it and so she looks calmer. Very cool. Yeah. What do you it, think there, Scrappy? She's like, oh yeah, look at cat? the camera. So you just went shopping. What'd you get? I did. Well, you know how it is having two preteenish kids. I feel like that they just eat us out of house and home. But got some bananas and then using these bags from Ikea is great in the RV for the produce because you can just hang that here like this and then that helps keep that fresh and it's up out of the way and off of the counter. So less counter space there. So lots of chips for the children's, some rice, you know, the typical. We're going to need propane. <laughs> well, that's what I was, I was going to say. Do you think half a tank is enough to get us through the week? Ordinarily, I would say yes, but we're going to be running the furnace. And then if we use propane for the hot water heater, it just works better. So is half a tank enough to get us through? Yeah, it lasts Six days. pretty, it lasts a long time, so I think we should be okay, but wouldn't hurt to stop by, see if Tractor Supply or something has uh, propane. It doesn't look like, oh, the light's not on, that's... Oh uh, yeah, there's no light. Go for a ride? Go for an RV ride? Yo, I want to do it. Okay, you ready? Ready. Ah, oh, here's the button. 
Wow, this one goes faster. Sounds different. All right. Sweet. Ready to go? Yeah. All right. You guys ready? Yep. Alaska is ready to go to the Tampa Super Show. Ready to go for a ride? Go for a ride? <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go. Five minutes. You don't look so enthused. Go ahead and turn the key and start her up. Yep. And, and then let go when it starts. There you go. You did it. I feel like the biggest trick is always the fence and the trees with the ladder. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you when that's an issue. Okay, you're getting close. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, the Jeep. I'm gonna, I might have to move the Jeep. Whoa, stop. Unless you want to do about a 16 point turn here. Okay. Stop there. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, we're good now. The nice thing about a Class A is the turn radius is just amazing. And uh, I didn't mean to have these. No, you're good. I didn't mean to have these gloves on. Looks like I've got driving gloves, black driving gloves. All right, you're good. You can go. See, it's not that bad. Not too bad. All right. I think we, we've got this down to a T. All right, let's go to Tampa. All right, let's do it. As we arrived at the fairgrounds for the Tampa Super Show, we checked in with the camp host. We were then escorted to our campsite for the week and got set up. The view from our campsite was amazing with the fountain in the middle of the pond overlooking the Hard Rock Hotel. <laughs> she totally said yes, that they would meet us there in an hour. <laughs> in an hour? In an hour. Here's how you know what sort of personality you're dealing with if you have somebody that is, oh, there goes the Instant Pot. Somebody that's like, I don't know, like, I don't want to use the word impulsive, spontaneous. It's probably a nicer spontaneous, word. Spontaneous, like our dog. <laughs> Be like, yeah, he's very spontaneous. But when you text your cousin and you're like, hey, what's the name of that ice cream joint? Want to go in an hour? And they're like, sure. You know that you're dealing <laughs> with somebody that has some spontaneity to their lives. We're gonna meet him. We are. At the ice cream fairy place, cream fairy. whatever it's called. Yes. Uh, what's unique about this cotton place? Cotton candy burrito. Yeah, and what's cotton candy? Do we want to tell them or do we want to show them later? Show them later. Okay. Can, wait, can I have one? No. I think you guys should split one. Yeah. No. Mom and no. dad are going to eat We're one. We're getting in, mango We're going to eat cream. one in front of you. Okay, we need to eat dinner first. So, are you scooping the rice out of that With an ice, ice cream, cream pot? Scoop. Well, here's the crazy thing. Why do we even have an ice cream scoop in the RV when we know that the freezer doesn't keep the ice cream cold? So why would we have an ice cream scoop? Right? Rice. I don't know. Ice Cream Fairy is a local Tampa favorite. We have gelato as well, remember? Anytime that we get the chance to visit the super unique ice cream store, we take advantage of it. They 
have a specialty called the cotton candy burrito, which is basically cotton candy with ice cream in the middle. It's definitely sugar overload for the kids. So we made it into Tampa yesterday, um, incident free travel day, which is always nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is cold right now. Like last year, it was not this cold during the show. Florida does have some cold days, but it's chilly this morning. But we're gonna go pick up our uh, credentials for industry day and then we are super excited because we are able to partner with Fleetwood this year and have Fleetwood sponsor some videos for you guys and for us. And we're going to be able to this morning to tour brand new, never before seen model for Fleetwood. So make sure that you have hit that subscribe button because you're going to want to check this one out. I saw some of the pre press release pictures this is gonna be a pretty cool rig. So we're excited to be able to film that among some other things today and um, just kind of let you guys know what's going on in the RV world. What is your favorite thing to do at RV shows? Walk around. All right, let's do it. Let's go guess how many M&Ms are in an M&M jar. That is kind of a tongue twister, just a race. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> So, you like to get the swag, don't you? Yeah. And the candy? All right. What's next? More candy? No, I'm gonna guess how many have next. Oh, okay, all right. Use your name, number, and your guess. How comfortable is it? Uh, it's okay. It's okay? It's just a little bit, a little, little bit. Okay, eat. Have a drink of the... <laughs> How's it feel? Oh, yeah. Does that feel good? It's hot in here, but now it's not. <laughs> a little too cool? Meeting a famous person. And who is this famous person? Uh, the owner of Rootless Living Magazine. <gasps> We have like a million of those in our house. Yeah? In the bathroom. So. Which one is it? Number 11. 11? So, Meet a famous person. Okay. Is the fire keeping you warm? Uh, yes. Yeah? It feels so good. Ah. So we just got done with our very first meet and greet and oh my gosh my heart is just overflowing right now because so many of you guys stopped by to say hey and just let us know um, that you really appreciate watching our videos and it just is so humbling and so great to connect with so many of you guys so we're gonna go get some lunch and then today is gonna be a fun afternoon of just going and seeing all that the show has to offer. So many cool things here. So many cool things here. And the kids are having a great time. So an RV show is definitely one of those fun things where even if you're not in the market for a new RV or anything like that, but go around and see some of the different vendors, see some of the booth. RV Life was generous enough to let us share some booth space with them for a meet and greet, which we use um, their products and services anyway. So lots of cool tech, even if you're not in the market for a new RV, but you can learn so much about what's out there and what's available by attending a show like this. Okay, so we are walking over to Lippert and we got invited to do a little interview with them for their podcast. So 
um, on the way up here. It's kind of neat. We actually saw a couple uh, rigs, like for safety plus and true. What was it? Truman. Tr Truma. Truma. Water heaters. Water which heaters. Is just like tankless water heaters, but. The thing that's really cool about here at the show is like you can get some of these things like the safety plus steering system which we have and we absolutely love and like the Truma tankless hot water heaters and there's people right here on site exactly so you can get it done here while you're here so just a really cool opportunity that they have at this show to be able to take with you and have done right there on site all of those cool mods and upgrades that we all love as our beers. People buy them at the show and then you just put them on right here for them? Yes, sir. Awesome. So you can put these on gas, RV, Class A's, diesel. Class uh, A's, Class C's, Super B, uh, Super C's, uh, some Class B's, uh, Ram 3500s and Chevy 3500s and Ford F-350s. Okay. Just about uh, a lot of stuff. What Some can't deep. you put it on? Uh, anything with rack and pinion steering. So the benefit is if you have a front tire blowout, it's going to help you maintain your lane and get to the side of the road safely and efficiently. It's going to help with side winds, trucks passing, road wonder. It's going to take uh, about 60% of the slop out of your steering. And... Uh, but the, but the main thing is for the safety aspect of it, if you if you have a front tire blowout, it's going to help you get to the side of the road safely. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. because it gets pretty warm in here during the day. But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's brand new. I mean, we took delivery on Sunday. Oh my gosh. Uh, this week. So wow. it's brand That's new awesome. to us. We haven't had a chance to treat it yet. It's brand yeah. new. It's amazing. Uh, Sunday, yeah. Flippin' yeah. Nomad had it for 45 days. So it was a big haul from start to finish until yeah. we got it here. Yeah. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so I'm here in the Lipper Scout Mobile with Rob. And first of all, this is an amazing reno that right. Flipping Nomad did in this travel trailer. I mean, it smells like fresh paint. Yes. There's just something about the smell of like fresh paint for me where I'm like, mm, love that. There you go. But anyway, so just tell us a little bit about um, what you guys are doing with Lippert Scouts and how people can find Lippert Scouts and why that they should join the Scouts Facebook group. Should, right. Lippert Scouts is a community online on Facebook. So if you go to Facebook, search Lippert Scouts, it's going to be a group that comes up for you. And it's a, it's a camping connection. It's Lippert wanting feedback and asking for that feedback from customers who are using our products and from those who are using other products. So if you have an RV, maybe a, an issue that you've been having or a pain point, we wanna hear about it because we're trying to improve the experience. We wanna make our products better to work better for folks. So we need that feedback. If you've been watching our channel for any length of time, you know our heart for RV community. So just before we came in here, we were sitting around the virtual the virtual campfire, campfire right? yeah, out it's been, here. It's been fun. That's been our most popular exactly. spot. Exactly. Yeah. And awesome. just being able to chat with other people and other RVers and just really like have community. And so I love the display that you guys have set up here because really you. it's conducive to that. It's like the living room, right? right. Like the outdoor living room yep. where everybody can just come and sit and chat and just make connect. I mean, we make connections out there. So now we're all following each other on Instagram. And so if we're ever at a campground together, we could be like, oh, hey, look who's here, there you, you know? And so. I just love the way that um, social media can help bring us all in the RV community closer together. Well, I'm going to sign the guest book. You want to sign the guest book? Yes. Check it out. <gasps> <laughs> what is this on the mirror, though? Oh, yeah. So it is a defogger. And it can also, if you want to play with the colors there, just tap that color button. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Shut Ooh. the front door. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That's awesome. A mirror that defogs itself? Yep. That is too cool for school. Wow. Again, something we would not have thought of, but the Flipping Nomad decided mm -hmm. to put that touch on it. That is amazing. Where's the guest book? Right on the wall. <gasps> oh, there's, I was like looking for like a book book. We call it the guest wall. The guest wall. So are these, these are the pens. These yep. are the That's special right. pens. You 
say you were one of the first guests here inside the Leopard Scout Mobile. Oh, sweet. I know. That's so cool. Sweet. The kids are going to be so mad that they... <laughs> but guess what we did? <laughs> Right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us. Appreciate it. Thanks yeah. For, thanks for coming thank in you. and checking it yeah. out and sitting and talking with me. This has been wonderful. I wanted to take a minute to share a little bit about our sponsor for this video, campgroundviews.com. Now, this is a great video for campgroundviews.com to have sponsored because they are another trip planning resource that we are loving especially for these campgrounds that are run by state agencies or through recreation.gov. So campgroundviews.com lets you take a virtual tour of the campground before that you book. Now, we are looking at booking a campground in the New York City area. We were trying to look at it off of Google Street View just last night, and you couldn't really see much in the campground itself to understand what sites looked like, where the dump station was located, all of these things, because Google Street View basically just showed you the entrance to the campground, but didn't take you through the campground in that sense. Well, campgroundviews.com is like Google Street View, but it takes you through the campground site by site. You can see exactly where everything is, what the sites look like, and it has become our new go-to tool to be able to get information before that we decide if that campground is going to work well for us or not. So there'll be a link in the description below for campgroundviews.com where you can check them out and potentially use that as a new go-to tool for your trip planning. No longing. No longing. No longing. Low long. No longing. Longing. No you longing. know what longing is? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below because I don't know what longing is. So right now we're in one of the main exhibition halls and we just you poked me with Sorry, your my camera. furry thing. <laughs> we just um, got done looking at the uh, four travels. Oh my gosh, for a million bucks get a lot of luxury yeah. so Amazing. now we're perusing airstreams just mm -hmm. you know thinking and i'm Dreaming. thinking that post kids what do we do after the kids are out of the i'm thinking i'd house? get a little claustrophobic you'll have to let us know if if you like you know the airstream thing claustrophobia that whole thing i don't know they are nice this one over here has separate beds separate beds <laughs> when you go to these different areas in You've got family and friends in an area, then you can get together. So tonight we're having my cousin and my aunt and uncle who are in the area visiting from out of state. They happen to be here. So we wanted to make sure we had everybody over for dinner, um, show off the new renovation. So that's gonna be happening later tonight. Perfect. My aunt and uncle were visiting from Iowa. They decided to escape the cold and spend a month in Florida, and we were excited to be able to show them the RV. A lot of people think that you can't have people over for dinner when you're in an RV, but boy, did we prove everybody wrong by fitting all of us comfortably in the RV for dinner and fun. We have super fun things when you meet us. So you get a mug. <laughs> we are gonna head down to the exhibition hall for a little meet and greet with any of our fans that are here. So just note to self, when we have these big RV shows that we're able to come to, um, we will have meet and greets and we'll put out those schedules online. So uh, right you now- get a mug. You get a mug, everybody gets a mug. Which by the time you'll be seeing this all, of course, this will all have happened in the past, but we can learn for the future, right? Oh my gosh, this is not comfortable in this backpack now. <laughs> so we're gonna walk down to the exhibition hall so we can say hi to a bunch of you guys, our community. Anyway, how are you feeling? Feeling good, just edited a nice video of, a, of the new founder. So you're gonna have to 
check that out right up here. It's got a new floor plan and everything. It's amazing. That one was pretty awesome. cool. So excited. So, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Excited to go meet some of you guys. I say excited. For the, <laughs> he's excited for that. I'm excited for all of the tours that we've been able to yeah. film that uh, will be in the process of editing here over the next few weeks for you guys to see because there's some really cool stuff and some of these RV manufacturers have finally gotten with it with interior and that's yes. all I'm gonna say because yeah. I don't want to spoil it but make sure that you're subscribed because you're gonna want to see those. Ready for the last day of the show and uh, ready to meet some more of you guys before that we head out and uh, you're gonna have to let us know in the comments below if you were here if we had a chance to say hi it was so much fun connecting with so many of you guys and we really look forward to the next time that we can do an event like this with the rv community because it's been a blast don't forget that we are putting together a summer caravan and hope to be able to connect with some of you guys on the summer caravan this year um, all of that information is over in our insiders group there'll be a link in the description below on how to become a grateful glamper insider but we're opening that to all of our insiders that want to maybe come meet us on the road or travel with us along the way. Hope that you kind of enjoyed this day in the life of what it was like for us at the Tampa Super Show and just what it looks like to live RV life on the road. You'll have to let us know in the comments below if you liked this style of video or maybe what sort of videos that you prefer to see. Okay, so if you would like to see some of the tour videos that we were just talking about, they're gonna be really cool. We've got a couple RVs that you're gonna definitely love to see. You can check those out right there. And you can check out more videos of places to travel and just vlog style videos right up here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right down here. Now, the YouTube analytics have been telling us a lot of you watching are not yet subscribed. So what are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button. You can always unsubscribe if you regret that decision. If we don't see you out on the road or at the campground. We'll see you in the next video.